Hi, I'm Dr. Natasha Berger. I'm a pediatrician, a fellow of the American Academy of Pediatrics, a writer, and a mom. I've been working with Philips Advent since 2019. In this video, I will explain pacifier safety and cleaning procedures that are often overlooked and demonstrate how to properly clean and sterilize a pacifier and trendy plush friends. You've probably seen these snuggly plush pacifier attachments. They offer benefits to baby. Baby it can easily control the pacifier, it makes it easier for mom and dad to find the pacifier, and it helps keep the pacifier in baby's mouth. My personal favorite is the Philips Avent Soothe Snuggle. This pacifier and weighted plush comes with a Philips Avent Soothe pacifier, a pacifier trusted by doctors and nurses across the country to calm newborns. It's easy to clean and sterilize because the pacifier detaches from the plush. Unfortunately, not all pacifiers and plush toys are made equally. Some brands directly sew the pacifier to the plush toy, making it nearly impossible to properly clean or replace the pacifier. This issue has come to trouble parents of newborns because they're wondering if they're doing everything that they can to keep their baby stuff clean. One poll, in partnership with Philips Advent, surveyed 2,000 parents of infants zero to six months old and uncovered that 76% are always worried about the cleanliness of the things their baby touches while 67% of parents don't think they clean their infant's things as often as they should. The biggest cleanliness culprits are plush toys. A whopping 54% of the parents surveyed said they worry that they are improperly disinfecting their baby's plush toys. Despite one third of parents believing pacifiers can be cleaned in the washing machine while attached to a plush pacifier holder, this method is not ideal because the washing machine may leave detergent residue on the nipple that goes into your baby's mouth. So after the wash cycle, you may still need to sterilize the pacifier again. This method not only involves time and hassle, but it's also worth noting that abrasive cleaning agents and antibacterial cleansers may cause the Soothe to crack or tear. The Soothe Snuggle is great because you can detach the pacifier from the plush toy and clean both effectively. To start cleaning, detach the Soothe pacifier from the Snuggle. You can sterilize the Soothe in two different ways, either in a Philips Avent microwave steam sterilizer bag or in boiling water for five minutes. After sterilizing, Allow the Soothe to cool for at least five minutes and squeeze any trapped water out of the nipple. Check the product before each use and replace the pacifier immediately in case of damage or weakness. You can wash the plush toy in a mesh laundry bag on a normal washing cycle and then leave it out to air dry. Once you've cleaned both parts of the Soothe Snuggle, you can connect the pieces back together and offer the pacifier to your baby. Philips Avent recommends changing your baby's pacifier after four weeks of use, something nearly half of the parents survey didn't know. To avoid having your baby bite through the nipple of the pacifier as he or she develops teeth, which could create a possible choking hazard, ensure you're changing the pacifier after four weeks of use and using a pacifier that's appropriate for your baby's age. Philips Advent Soothies are designed for babies zero to three months and over three months, while other Philips Advent pacifiers are designed for babies zero to six months, six to 18 months, and over 18 months. The Soothe Snuggle makes it easy to sanitize both the pacifier and the plush toy thoroughly because the parts detach. And it allows baby to keep their first friend with them as they grow over time. 